What's up y'all? Welcome back to the YouTube channel, Live to Race. Uh, if this is your first time here, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification to keep up with things going on. We got a LS Swap Malibu. Uh, we're gonna have a small block Chevy Turbo C10. That's the plans right now. One thing I wanted to go over with tonight, it is not. Um, one of my most popular videos on this channel is the Prime Well 225. I know I put that video out at the end of March. Uh, I hadn't really had a chance to mess with it, you know, with a lot of things going on. So it didn't turn out as well as I hoped, and it's not the machine, but let me kind of go over with you uh, what's going on and uh, some things that you may want to avoid. So as you can see, I got the uh, machine out here. Had everything hooked up. Uh, not exactly the cleanest table to weld on, but it's all steel, had it grounded uh, good, I believe. So I don't have real power out here in this shop. So my plan is I bought this real thick welder extension cord, hooked it to that, and went to run on this 4,500 watt I guess it's Kanawa tools generator. Um, kind of figured this was gonna be okay. Especially running on 110, not running high amperage. I think I had it on 64, 65 amps and the generator just wanted to surge. So that's something that you really want to look at before you buy a welder is if you have good enough power supply. Now I can probably go to Harbor Freight and buy one of the, uh, I think it's like $600 for one of the 9,500 watt generators and it'll probably run it fine. Uh, I have been thinking about finally getting power out here to the shop. Um, I was going to last year, but I've been planning on uh, moving to a different location if I can find one uh, for, you know, land and have a really large shop with a mini split with air conditioning and heat but I know it's not relevant to this but I didn't want to spend the money to wire out here and put a 230 volt and, and everything else out here and then it's kind of gonna be lost money end up moving so but I've either got to do that now or I will have to um, buy the bigger generator uh, so that's kind of uh, something that you need to think about. Like I said, I did some research. It seemed like the, it was saying, you know, 2,500 or so constant amps would do it, but uh, reading up a little bit more now, I think a generator, a lot of the energy getting is clean. I didn't want to keep trying it and mess the welder up, obviously. So that's kind of an update of why now you hadn't seen anything on this and it may be a little longer but as soon as i get a power source squared away we're gonna do some welding with it and i'll give you my opinions uh, i can tell it's been a long time since i tig welded it's just what little bit i tried unfortunately i'd bought some stuff to uh, tig weld for the malibu project and i guess i've got to figure out a different way to mount it now so Anyways, uh, don't want to keep rambling. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully this may help somebody out. Uh, that's the reason why I wanted to make it. I uh, know it's not, you know, telling you much about the welder, but that's something that you need to know. So thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting, and thanks for liking the videos. See you next time.